you know, not able to get it done. They were able to, to open things up there in the fifth inning. Uh, what kind of, you know, wasn't working for Walterchuk that, you know, he wasn't able to put up maybe the same numbers he's been able to? Well, I just, you got to credit Loyal. I mean, they did a really good job with him, and he's been good all year. That's, I mean, his, uh, I would say his worst outing, obviously. Um, um, but they were just tougher today, and they put together good at-bats and, um, you know, got them out of there pretty early. Were they doing anything to, to keep counts alive or anything? Because he's been, you know, such a so good at putting hitters away uh, this season with the, with the big strikeout numbers. This tonight only uh, two strikeouts, though. No, I don't think there was anything different. I mean, you know, I think they just put together really tough at bats, and I think they did a good job with two strikes and got them to the next pitch. And, and they're pretty lefty. Uh, you know, they had four lefties in the lineup and two switch, and you know, felt like we would have a good edge on them, but they battled. And, and uh, you know, it's a veteran lineup that they have, and they did a really good job. And they were tough against stuff, you know, tough, tough against them today, and um, they did a good job. You got to credit them. You guys came in needing one win. You know, they get the first two, bring it, makes it basically an elimination game tomorrow. Uh, you know, winner advances to the WCC tournament. How do you think your guys will bounce back after dropping the first two games? Well, I hope that the pressure is off now. You know, I think the first two days they kind of felt like, uh, you know, kind of uh, we were supposed to win. You know, and now I'd like I just told them. I mean. Now it's almost like we're supposed to lose, you know. I mean, they have their guy, the freshman, that has really good numbers, and, and uh, you know they've been playing better than us uh, by a lot the last two days. So um, the tide has definitely turned, and so uh, you know we'll see. We'll see how they uh, they come back and fight. And uh, you know, hey, we built this this program uh, on toughness and character, and uh, our backs against the wall a lot. So you know, this is. Uh, about as big as it gets. What do you kind of say to the team after you know after not playing well today to, to try to get get them to kind of turn it around? Well, I told them that they need to. Uh, they're going to text the lineups uh, of the nine toughest guys to us tonight, and that's what we're going to go with tomorrow. You know, this this no longer is about stats, and it's no longer about um, you know who's done this and who's done that. It's about getting the nine toughest guys in, in an elimination game. So we're not even making the lineup tomorrow. I told them to. Text us the lineup, and uh, we're going to put it together and see what they decide, and, and uh, tomorrow's their game. One guy I assume that will be in the lineup is Jackson Thorson. He's been you know, so key for you in the middle of the lineup. What has he done to, to kind of take his game to the next level, to be that leader also behind the plate for, for this group? Well, I think he has a lot of experience. You know, I think that's first. Um, senior, been a three-year starter for us. I think that, that goes a long ways, um, and he's been – part of pretty good pitchers, you know, pitching staffs. And, and, um, and so he does a really good job with that, and it's nice to have an experienced guy there. Um, you know, so, so he brings a lot to the table. We're going to miss him definitely, but hopefully he can have a good one tomorrow and keep us in this thing.